what happened to defense in the Premier League? Like, is anybody interested in playing defense anymore? Like, because I swear I'm seeing more open matches than ever before. And like, no, people don't want to grind out that 1-0 victory. They all want to play in these like two, three, four goal bangers that are fun to watch in the neutral, but are confusing to me as someone who has watched English soccer for a long time. And this is not the typical English identity. You definitely have this philosophical shift. And I think part of it is you're seeing more money coming to the league which means you're going to get better players. You can also buy defenders. Well, yeah, you could. But, I mean, typically when you're going to spend money, I mean, what are the most expensive players? The guys that score the goals, right? Not necessarily the guys that prevent them. To me, the game congestion and just the whirlwind of the last three years, what would be the first thing to go, right? Is the defensive organization, the holes in your pressing, and your set piece concentration. Pressing is is seen as a good thing. We're seeing less and less Roy Hodgson era teams that are just going to sit back in a defensive shell anymore. But again, when you're dealing with a bunch of injuries, when your teams are tired (laughs) and you go to press, we both were basketball guys in some form or fashion. You played it. I coached it. Um, What happened when presses get broken in basketball, man? The other team was going to lay up on the other end. And that I think that's the same thing now, right? It happened a lot more in the third game of the Saturday U tournament that it did. Yeah. So I think your fixture congestion uh, is a great point. Well, I'm looking forward to somebody going full Timberwolves and just be like going (laughs) zigging when everybody else is zagging and trying to grind out one zero wins again. I I look forward to seeing who that team's going to be.